The North American F-86 Sabre, sometimes called the Sabrejet, is a transonic jet fighter aircraft. Produced by North American Aviation, the Sabre is best known as the United States' first swept-wing fighter that could counter the swept-wing Soviet MiG-15 in high-speed dogfights in the skies of the Korean War, fighting some of the earliest jet-to-jet -jet battles in history. The Canadair Sabre added another 1,815 aircraft and the significantly redesigned CAC Sabre, had a production run of 112. The Sabre is by far the most produced Western jet fighter, with a total production of all variants at 9,860 units. The North American F-86 Sabre was the first American aircraft to take advantage of flight research data seized from the German aerodynamicists at the end of World War II. These data showed that a thin, swept wing could greatly reduce drag and delay compressibility problems that had bedeviled fighters such as the Lockheed P-38 Lightning when approaching the speed of sound. The XP-86 prototype, which led to the F-86 Sabre, was rolled out on 8 August 1947. The F-86 Sabre was also produced under license by Canadair, Limited, as the Canadair Sabre. The final variant of the Canadian Sabre, the Mark VI, is generally rated as having the highest capabilities of any Sabre version. The F-86A set its first official world speed record of 671 miles per hour on September 15, 1948, at Murick Dry Lake, flown by Major Richard L. Johnson, USAF. Five years later, on 18 May 1953, Jacqueline Cochran became the first woman to break the sound barrier, flying a one-off, Canadian-built F-86 Sabre Mk-3, alongside Chuck Yeager. On 2 February 1958, a team of Pakistan Air Force F-86 Sabres called Falcons, set a world record at PAF Base Masroor by performing a loop while in a 16-aircraft diamond formation. The ongoing technical development and long production history of the F-86 resulted in some significant differences in the handling and flying characteristics between the various F-86 models. The 1972 Sacramento Canadair Sabre accident resulting in 22 fatalities and 28 other casualties was a result of over-rotation on takeoff. In October 1951, the Soviets managed to recover a downed Sabre, and in their investigation of the type they concluded that the Sabre's advantage in combat was due to the APG-30 gun sight that facilitated accurate fire at longer ranges. Many of the American pilots were experienced World War II veterans, while the North Koreans and the Chinese lacked combat experience, thus accounting for much of the F-86's success. American Sabre pilots were trained at Nellis, where the casualty rate of their training was so high, they were told, if you ever see the flag at full staff, take a picture. Despite rules of engagement to the contrary, F-86 units frequently initiated combat over MiG bases in the Manchurian Sanctuary. Number 2 Squadron, South African Air Force also distinguished itself flying F-86s in Korea as part of the 18 FBW. On 17 June 1951, at 1.30 1 hours, Suwon Air Base was bombed by two Polikarpov PO-2 biplanes. One F-86A Sabre was struck on the wing and began burning. Prompt action by personnel who moved aircraft away from the burning Sabre prevented further loss. Of the 41 American pilots who earned the designation of ace during the Korean War, all but one flew the F-86 Sabre, the exception being a Navy VOT F-4U Corsair night fighter pilot. After the war, the USAF reviewed its figures in an investigation code named Sabre Measure Charlie and downgraded the kill ratio of the North American F-86 Sabre against the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 by half. Thus, 659 MiG-15s are admitted as being lost, many of these to F-86 Sabres the Soviets claim to have downed over 600 Sabres, together with the Chinese claims, although these cannot be reconciled with the number of Sabres recorded as lost by the US. The status of many claimed air-to-air -air victories in the Korean War has been increasingly debated as more data becomes available, showing that instances of overclaiming abounded on both sides. A recent RAND report made reference to recent scholarship of F-86 V MiG-15 combat over Korea and concluded that the actual kill-loss ratio for the F-86 was 1.8, 1 overall, and likely closer to 1.3, 1 against MiGs flown by Soviet pilots. As newer Century Series fighters came online, F-86s were transferred to Air National Guard units or the Air Forces of Allied Nations. A small team from VMF-323, a Marine FJ-4 Fury Squadron with later assistance from China Lake and North American Aviation, initially modified 20 of the F-86 Sabres to carry a pair of Sidewinders on underwing launch rails and instructed the ROC pilots in their use flying profiles with USAF F-100s simulating the MiG-17. 
The MiGs enjoyed an altitude advantage over the Sabres, as they had in Korea, and Communist Chinese MiGs routinely cruised over the Nationalist Sabres, only engaging when they had a favorable position. India admitted a loss of 14 combat aircraft to the PAF's F-86s. The F-86s of the PAF had the advantage of being armed with AIM-9B, GAR-8 Sidewinder missiles, whereas none of its Indian adversaries had this capability. Despite this, the Indian Air Force claimed that seven F-86 Sabres were shot down by fallen Nats and six F-86 Sabres were shot down by Hawker Hunters. The Canadair Sabres, acquired from ex-Luftwaffe stocks via Iran, were the mainstay of the PAF's day fighter operations during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971, and had the challenge of dealing with the threat from IAF. At the beginning of the war, PAF had eight squadrons of F-86 Sabres. In East Pakistan, only one PAF F-86 squadron was deployed to face the numerical superiority of the IAF. In the Battle of Boira Indian Fallen Nats of 22 Squadron IAF shot down two F-86s and severely damaged one F-86E. PAF F-86s performed well, with Pakistani claims of downing 31 Indian aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. These included 17 Hawker Hunters, 8 Suhoi Su-7, Fitters, 1 MiG-21, and 3 Nats while losing 7 F-86s. The most interesting of these was a battle between 2 Sabres and 4 MiG-21s. One MiG was shot down, without any Sabres lost. India claims to have shot down 11 PAF Sabres for the loss of 11 combat aircraft to the PAF F-86s. The IAF numerical superiority overwhelmed the sole East Pakistan Sabre Squadron which were either shot down, or grounded by Pakistani fratricide as they could not hold out, enabling complete air superiority for the IAF. After this war, Pakistan slowly phased out its F-86 Sabres and replaced them with Chinese F-6 fighters. The Philippine Air Force first received the Sabres in the form of F-86Fs in 1957, replacing the North American P-51 Mustang as their primary interceptor. The most notable use of the F-86 Sabres was in the Blue Diamond's aerobatic display team, which operated eight Sabres until the arrival of the newer, supersonic Northrop F-5. During the Korean War, the Soviets were searching for an intact US F-86 Sabre for evaluation, study purposes. The F-86D had only 25% commonality with other Sabre variants, with a larger fuselage, larger afterburning engine, and a distinctive nose radome. F-86Ls were upgraded F-86Ds. F-86E improved flight control system and an all-flying tail, 456 built, North American model NA-170, NA-172, essentially the F-86F airframe with the F-86E engine, 60 of these built by Canadair for USAF F-86E, M, designation for X-RAF Sabres diverted to other NATO Air Force's QF-86E designation for surplus RCAF Sabre MK versus modified to target drones F-86F upgraded engine and larger, 6-3, wing without leading edge slats, 2,239 built, North American model NA-172, NA-176, NA-191, NA-193, NA-202, NA-227, NA-231, NA-238, and NA-256, 300 additional aircraft in this series assembled by Mitsubishi in Japan for Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. Sabre Fs had much improved high-speed agility, coupled with a higher landing speed of over 145 miles per hour. As a consequence of its power plant, the Australian-built Sabres are commonly referred to as the Avon Sabre.